We are looking at a multi-chart portfolio performance report for SR Counter Trend 2 with nine of our top markets. I'll go over those in a minute. You see the, all the trades, the long trades, the short trades, and the balance. Here's the performance summary. Max drawdown, 88.1490. Uh, let's look at the equity curve with a drawdown. You see the equity curve with the drawdown. The red line indicates the drawdowns. The green line is the equity curve. This is inclusive of $25 round turn slippage and commission. So we look at the total trade analysis and we see that our total uh, average trade would be about 1, 112, 113 before slippage and commission and 87 after. You see the difference between um, the longs and the short is less than $4 on the average trade profit, although there are about 400 more long trades than short trades in this portfolio. And um, the long trades are or about two and a half percent more profitable so still very close um, and let's take a look at the annual uh, annual period analysis annual period analysis is pretty consistent 2007 um, we set the date to 1 1 2007 but the way the data is set up it doesn't start until anywhere from March to June of 2007 that's when the signals you see the start date for the signals for all these markets and you see each individual market and what its contribution w was to the portfolio. And this is inclusive, again, of, of the slippage of uh, factor $25 round turn slippage and commission. The way I set it up, you'll see it in the performance report is under commission. I just set up $25 round turn commission to include slippage and commission. I did not set a slippage number. I just put it all in the commission calculation. And so um, let's look at the... Um, Let's look at the annual again. Uh, so we're throwing out 2007 because it's not a full year. And then 2008-2009, uh, very volatile, uh, especially 2008. So that's the highest, uh, highest net profit year. And then since 2009, it's pretty consistent. Um, pretty consistent until we get to 2017. Then it drops off a little bit. And so um, you have a, um, a drop-off of 14,000 in 2017 but then in 2018 um, we're about a third of, third of the way through the year so if you multiply the year by um, by three then you'll see that um, April we're going, going through April we're a third of the way so if you multiply it by three you're at about 25,000 which falls in line with a lot of these average numbers in here um, for 2010 through 2016. 2016 was high. Um, the average trade profit this year is 84, which is right in line uh, with our average trade profit. So um, let's see what else. Let's look at we've looked at the um, overview um, when they start, and um, so we can do correlation studies based on the daily equities, the correlations there. Monthly, you get more negative correlation, and then on the annual, you get those negative correlations. And so, um, there's a lot of information here. Um, trade analysis again, and performance summary again. And so, what are we looking at? We're looking at a portfolio with gold, crude oil, and silver, e mini S&P, e mini NASDAQ, soybeans, platinum, Arbob, and natural gas. And so these are our top strategies in this SR Counter Trend 2 portfolio setup. And I want to show you the difference in inputs because they're very small. But I want to show you that. But let's first look at the way these are grouped. Natural gas, Arbob, and platinum have the same parameters. Crude oil, gold, and silver have the same parameters. Soybeans has its own set of parameters. And e mini S&P and e mini NASDAQ have their own set of parameters, the same parameters as each other. And so RBOB, this is the old RBOB with the original RBOB heating oil. We didn't use in the portfolio. We didn't use the DAX, and we didn't use the euro currency, which has a long trade today. So we're just looking at our favorite nine right now, and I'll show you the differences in input parameters. And so we pull in the parameter list, and we take a look. Uh, we're just trading one contract. So you could, you could compound when you are ready as aggressively or as conservatively as you would like. One contract, max daily entries is the same, limit entry points is the same, um, percent range, it changes. This is the main difference in 
in this strategy um, for the entry rules. And so as far as the entry rules are concerned, for the most part, they're all the same. And percent range is, is the one that's different. And so the lower this number is, the more it trades. The higher it is, the less it trades. And so you see 0.1 on the stock indexes, 0.5 on gold, silver, crude oil, and soybeans, and 0.9 on natural gas, arbob, and platinum. And you see our less liquid markets are using 0.9. Our medium liquid markets are using 0.5, and our highly liquid markets, well, even in NASDAQ is not necessarily highly liquid um, in the order book um, any more than the others, but even the S&P is. And so stock indexes um, in general have a lot of volume. So 0.1, and so those that's, that's kind of the way we have it set up, and kind of the pattern I'm noticing. Um, SR exit level, um, we don't use that. Uh, stop loss is $800 in all the all markets except soybeans where it's 500. Profit target is 800 in the stock indexes, 500 in everything else except soybeans which is 300. We don't use a break even stop loss. The long exit at yesterday's high and short exit at yesterday at, long exit at yesterday's high and short exit at yesterday's that should be lows. I'll change that. Short exit at yesterday's lows is false. We're not using that. The start time is at the beginning of the session, and the session is it lines up to where a typical, uh, typically a, a day session would start, or some day sessions have started where volume starts to pick up. And then finish time is towards the end of that session. Exit time is towards the end of the session. Length, number of deviations, precision, X, and displaced, they're the same for all. They're the same for all these markets. There's no difference. And so for the entry... Um, there's only one real difference, and that's the uh, percent range, um, because these other the, the stop losses and profit targets are, are based on the market volatility. Um, the entry times and exit times are based on the sessions where there's volume, and so you see different custom sessions: U.S. stock, Euro, and then grains new. And um, data one is five minutes. And data two is just the length of the custom session. So these are really daily bars based on the custom session. There's 285 minutes in the grains new custom session. There's 420 minutes in the euro custom session and 405 minutes in the U.S. stock session. And you could put these on local if you wanted. You'd need to change some of the time-based inputs depending on your computer it's time zone. And so you get exchange. We, we use exchange on the workspaces so that you could open this from any computer in the world and you'd be using the exchange. You wouldn't have to change any of the inputs, the time-based inputs if you use exchange. So that's the um, nine system or nine markets in SR Counter Trend 2. And we're just getting started on on um, setting up multiple markets and, and continue to test this, test this out. We'll be testing it over different intervals and um, different markets as well. But this this is so far a portfolio that we really like.